welcome to Net 25 Kids Live and I am Teacher Sally. This is Kid Kwento. Sa Kid Kwento, marami tayong masasayang topics na pag-uusapan at syempre pagkukwentohan. Sa Kid Kwento, tuturuan namin kayo kung paano magbasa. At kung marunong na kayong magbasa, abangan nyo pa rin ang aming mga webisodes dahil sa Kid Kwento, tutulungan namin kayo kung paano maging mas magaling pa sa pagbabasa. Dahil ang pagbabasa ay napakahalaga. Reading helps us explore different worlds and gain lots of information. That's why sa Kid Kwento, ang aming motto ay, let's all read to succeed. Hooray! At kung meron kayong pictures or videos na kayo ay nagbabasa o kaya meron kayong sinishare na kwento, ipadala nyo lang yan sa aming mga social media accounts. Una na natin ang Facebook namin, ang Facebook page namin na facebook.com slash net 25 kids. You can post, comment, or send through personal message. Malay nyo kayo ang aming maging leader of the day. And speaking of reader of the day, today, we are featuring shooting star De Jesus. Siya ay 6 years old. Panoorin natin ang kanyang video. Ay, Nina. Ate Nina. Ano yung itim sa noo mo? Ang tanong ni Manny, aalisin ko di maaalis yan. Sagot ni Mina, nunal yan. Eh, ba na man yan sa noo mo tumubo ang nunal mo tanong ulit ni Manny kakalaki naman para makilala ako ng mga tao. Sagot ni Nina. Sasabihin nila na ako iyon pa ba May malalaki nunal sa noo. Nagtawanan si na, si na, ni na, at mani. Alright! Palakpakan naman natin si Shooting Star De Jesus! Hooray! Good job, Shooting Star! Si Shooting Star ay 6 years old at nagpakita siya kung paano magbasa in Filipino. Hooray! Ang galing niya, di ba? Palakpakan natin siya ulit. At kung meron din kayong pictures or videos ang tulad ng pinakita sa atin ni Shooting Star, ipadala niya lang yan sa aming Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash net25kids Tandaan, kung kayo ay magpo-post o kaya magko-comment, use the hashtag KidKwento! At naririnig ko na ang ating bell. Ibig sabihin yan, it's time for review! Let's review our word of the day! And this week, we talked about the word blessed. Let's look at the caption and let's spell the word blessed once again. B-L-E-S-S-E-D. One more time. B-L-E-S-S-E-D. Now, let's spell the word blessed using sign language alphabet. B L E S S E D. 
One more time. B L E S S E D. Blessed. So this week we talked about the word blessed. What are the things that you are thankful for because you know that you are blessed? Remember, we are blessed when we are given opportunities to make ourselves better. We are so very blessed when we are recognized for the hard work that we do. But more than that, we are blessed when we have opportunities to share our knowledge to others and be able to help them in any way that we can. Tandaan, marami tayong mga dahilan upang maging masaya dahil tayo ay blessed. Marami tayong mga dapat ipagpasalamat dahil hindi lang tayo nakagkakaroon ng mga magagandang bagay na kakatulong pa tayo sa ating kapwa. At tulad naming mga teachers, meron kaming isang paraan upang makatulong sa aming kapwa. Ang isa sa paraang ito ay ang pagtuturo sa mga bata o sa aming mga estudyante. Alam niyo ba na mayroong isang paraan na ginagamit namin upang makapagturo kami sa aming mga estudyante at hindi lang yon, makapagturo pa kami sa kanila ng kabutiang has asal. Being a teacher or anyone working with kids is a good way of allowing kids to talk about their feelings and at the same time, learn things. This is through another word of the day. Our other word of the day is storytelling. Remember, our word of the day is storytelling. Can we all say the word of the day? Storytelling. That's right. Now, let's spell the word storytelling. Let's look at the caption and let's all spell. S-T-O-R-Y-T-E. L L I N G. One more time. Storytelling. S T O R Y T E L L I N G. Now let's all spell storytelling using sign language alphabet. S T O R Y T E L L I N G. One more time. S T O R Y T E L L I N G. Now, let's say the let's I will show you the sign language for the word story. At alam niyo ba ko ano ang Filipino ng salitang story? Yes. Sige nga, alam niyo ba ano ang Filipino pag sinabi natin ang salitang English na story? Kwento! Very good! At ganito ang kid kwento. Napapansin niyo ba? Ganito ang sign language para sa pamagat na aming online show na kid kwento. Kid, K-I-D, kwento. Ibig sabihin nun, K-I-D, kid, kwento. And this is a sign language for the word story. Kwento. Now, let's talk about storytelling. Storytelling have different benefits. There are five benefits for storytelling. Maraming magagandang bagay ang nagagawa ng storytelling kapag ito ay ginagawa ng mga matatanda sa pagtuturo sa mga bata. At mayroon kaming limang benefits of storytelling na isasabihin sa inyo. These are the five benefits of storytelling. Number one. Improves vocabulary. Again, improves vocabulary. Now, all together, let's all say the first benefit of storytelling. Improves vocabulary. That's right. When we say vocabulary, these are the words that we know. Through storytelling, we learn different kinds of words, be it different languages as well. Like, we can all learn about English, Filipino, or different languages. Now, we can learn different words when we listen to stories or when we tell stories on of our own. Now, everyone, the first benefit of storytelling is improves vocabulary. Number two. Number two benefit is enhances 
language. Again, enhances language. Now, let's add enhances language and communication. Now, when you do storytelling to kids, kids are able to use different sentences, especially dialogues that they hear in stories. Kapag nakikinig sila ng mga kwento, natututo sila ng tamang paggamit ng iba't ibang mga pangungusap. Natututo rin sila ng kung paano dapat gamitin ang iba't ibang mga vocabulary o vocabularyo na kanilang natutunan sa kwento na inyong binasa. Kaya nga, the second benefit of storytelling is enhances language. Can we all say number two? Enhances language. Very good. So let's go to number three. Number three, improves listening skills. Again, improves listening skills. Now, when we talk about, when we do storytelling with kids, they should be able to listen. And when they're very interested, they are motivated to listen to the story that you are telling them. Sa pumamagitan ng pagkukwento, ang mga bata ay naiinggan nyo. At kung magaling ang pagkakakwento ng mga matatanda, matatandaan nila ang kanilang naririnig. At ibig sabihin nun, mag improve o gagaling ang kanilang kakayahan upang maintindihan ang mga kanilang naririnig. So, number three benefit of storytelling is improves listening skills. Now, all together, what is number three? Improves listening skills. Good job! After number three, let's talk about number four. Number four, encourages creativity and imagination. Again, encourages creativity and imagination. Now, everyone, let's talk about number four. Kasi kapag tayo ay nagkakaroon ng, pag, ng pagkukwento o may kung nagkukwento sa atin, at hindi siya gumagamit ng kahit na anong libro at kailangan lang nating pakinggan ito. Ang ating imahinasyon ay nagagamit natin kasi kailangan nating isipin kung ano kaya ang ginagawa ng mga karakter o ano kaya ang lugar kung saan nangyari ang isang kwento. When someone is telling us a story, we try to imagine who the characters are, what is the setting, and what, ha what is happening in the story. That means we are... We are being creative and we are also able to use our imagination. Again, number four, encourages creativity and imagination. Now, all together, let's say, let's all say number four, encourages creativity and imagination. Very good. Now, on to number five, the last but definitely not the least. Number five, Teaches about values. Again, teaches about values. Sa pamamagitan ng iba't ibang mga kwento, natututo tayo ng iba't ibang mga kabutihang asal. Tulad halimbawa ng langgam at nitipaklong. Natututunan natin na dapat maging masipag at dapat tayo ay gumawa upang magkaroon tayo ng magagandang bagay. At ano pa ba? Ah, halimbawa, si Kuneho at si Pagong. Natutunan natin sa kwento na yon na hindi tayo dapat magmayabang dahil ang mga mayabang ay natatalo sa kanilang laban. Kaya, mga bata, kapag tayo ay nakikinig sa iba't ibang mga kwento, natututo tayo ng maraming kagandahang asal. Stories teach us different things about values. And those values that we learn, we should be able not just to remember them, but we should do them on a daily basis. So again, number five benefit of storytelling, teaches about values. Now all together, let's all say number five. Teaches about values. Very good, everyone. Let's all clap for everyone. Hooray! At syempre, kung mayroong nagkukwento, meron ding gumagawa ng kwento. Alam nyo ba na madali lang gumawa ng kwento? We are going to watch a video on making our own storybook. Let's watch this. Making your own storybook is easy. You just have to know the story elements and the parts of the book. Here are easy steps to follow so you can make your own storybook. First, who will your story be all about? Think of the characters. Then, 
think of the place or setting where your story will happen. What will be the beginning, middle, and ending of your story? The next thing you need to do is make a storybook template or a graphic organizer to guide you. On the front cover, think about where you will write the title, the illustrations, your name as the author and illustrator. Inside your book, figure out where to put the illustrations and the story. Lastly, don't forget to write a summary at the back cover. Enjoy! All right, so that's our video about making our own storybook. Madali lang, di ba, magsulat ng isang kwento at gumawa ng sarili niyong storybook. Tandaan lamang ang iba't ibang story elements. At nagkaroon na rin kami ng video at Facebook Live tungkol sa paggawa o pagsusulat ng kwento. Ilalagay na lang namin ang link sa description box. We will just write down the link on our description box about the Facebook Live that we that we had talking about the different elements of a story that will help you in writing your own storybook. Hooray! So this time, we are going to do hashtag Quento of the Day. Today, we have a very special Quento. And let's look at the pictures while I, while I tell you about the event that we did last Tuesday in New Era Elementary School. Hooray! So, last Tuesday, October 16, 2018, we had a storytelling event in New Era Elementary School. There were grade 2 students and grade 6 students who participated in that event. There were different sessions for storytelling. At syempre, ang nanguna sa storytelling ay ang mga estudyante ko sa College of Education ng New Era University, particularly the special education majors. Sa activity na yun, nagkaroon sila ng pagkakataon na ibahagi sa mga bata ang mga kwento na kanilang ginawa sa isang subject namin na ang tawag ay SPED 18 or Guidance and Counseling of Children with Special Needs. Kasi ang lesson, ang subject na yon ay tungkol sa paggawa o pagsusulat ng mga kwentong makapagtuturo ng iba't ibang kabutihang asal sa mga bata. At sa mga kwento na iyon, nakagawa sila at nagturo sila sa mga bata ng tungkol sa iba't ibang mga topics sulad ng Making friends, bullying, valuing family, appreciating oneself. So those topics were, to were told to, were discussed to the students. At nagkaroon din ako ng pagkakataon upang kausapin ang mga bata, ang grade 2 at grade 6 students na kinuwentohan ng aking mga college students. Sabi nila, ang mga nagturo daw sa kanila ay very very good at out of 10 points, bibigyan nila ang mga nagturo sa kanila ng 10 out of 10. Hooray! Palakpakan naman natin sila! Diba? Napakadali lang at napakagandang gawain ang magsulat ng kwento at magkaroon ng sarili niyong storybook. Kayo din, sa susunod, pag-usapan natin kung paano gumawa ng isang storybook. Malay nyo, mag pa kami ng isang kaibigan natin na nagda-drawing. Kilala niyo ba kung sino siya? At magpapaturo tayo sa kanya kung paano mag-drawing ng iba't ibang illustrations at upang makabuo tayo ng storybook. Magandang idea yan, di ba? Hooray! Palakpakan naman natin yung idea yun. <laughs> so sa susunod, ang gagawin natin, gagawa tayo ng storybook. Next time, we'll have another webisode talking about making our own storybook and doing illustrations. And of course, we'll have guests for that webisode. Abangan nyo na lang yun. Okay, palakpakan natin ulit ang aking mga estudyante sa College of Education ng New Era University. Hooray! Good job sa inyong lahat dahil napasaya ninyo ang mga bata na tinuruan ninyo. And now it's time for the summary. Let's talk about all the things that we talked about for today. Today, we learned about the different benefits of story, 
telling. We also talked about how what does being blessed means. Being blessed means receiving different opportunities to do better and receiving good fortune. So remember, when when we are blessed, we should also be thankful. Being blessed means we should value the good things we have received. We should also remember to always work hard. Again, work hard. So that brings us to our... Hashtag values of the week. So for this week, we have our values of the week. Ano kaya ang laman ng... Scroll na ito. Ang ating values of the week ay... Perseverance! Hooray! Again, let's all say our values of the week. Perseverance! Here, perseverance. Let's all spell the word perseverance. Ready? Get set, spell. P E R S E V E R A and C E perseverance all together let's all say our values of the week perseverance perseverance means you always have to try harder you always have to work really 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 hard try and try and try until you succeed and even if you make mistakes or even if it's so hard for you don't give up because giving up is not showing perseverance. When we persevere, we continue doing what we think we should be doing. We should always try our best. And I dedicate that to all my students. Remember, we should all persevere. Dapat tayo ay magsumikap. Dapat masipag tayo. At dapat maging matyaga. Pag sinabi nating matyaga, ibig sabihin nun, ang tao ay nagpapakita ng perseverance. Remember, even if something is so hard, we cannot give up. We should always do our best and keep on trying. So everyone, let's all say our values of the week. Perseverance! Perseverance! Keep on trying! At para mas lalo nating matandaan ang ating values of the week, meron tayong papanoorin na video. Actually, may papanoorin tayong music video. At mamaya, pag-usapan natin kung sino ang mapapanood natin sa music video na ito. Hooray! Perseverance! To persevere is the key, though it seems it's not easy. If you try then fail, it's not the end, I guarantee. Sometimes you don't get what you want, believe me, it doesn't mean that you can't keep repeating. Try, try again. Keep you down, would you stay down? Hey, pick yourself up and turn that frown Upside down There is nothing to fear The need is here We need to persevere Say it loud and clear Perseverance! Perseverance! Alright, so napanood nyo ba ang ating music video? At sana nag-enjoy kayo sa ating music video dahil na-miss ko na sila. At wag kayong mag-alala, babalik na sila sa Net25 Kids sa November dahil may bagong episodes na ang Word Hub! 
At sa music video na yun, napanood natin si Art at si PJ. And they were talking about perseverance. Remember, perseverance means don't give up. Just keep on trying and trying and trying until you succeed. And even if you experience hardships in this life, you still have to keep on trying because if you keep on trying and you keep on working hard, the achievements that you gain will be something that you will be thankful for and you will feel blessed. Hooray! Let's all clap everyone for our values of the week. At ngayon, meron pa tayong mga dapat nating ipagpasalamat. We should all be thankful for all the events that Net25 Kids is also a part of. And that leads to our first event. Our first event is about the special screening of Happy Ang Buhay the Musical. Hooray! Makikita natin ang mga schedule ng screening ng Happy Ang Buhay. Napakadami na niyan kasi ang una niyong makikita ay ang tungkol sa October at ang susunod na po ay sa November. At ano ano po ba ang ating pong una? Basahin po muna natin yung mga nauuna. The first we have is, so we have for, uh, for SMB Kutan, October 13 to 14, that will be SMB Kutan, SM Mall of Asia, SM South Mall, October 19 to 21, SM Clark, Pampanga, October 20 to 21, SM North, EDSA, SM Valenzuela, SM Fairview, SM Sangandaan, October 28, SM Cabanatuan, October 13 to 14, SM Alonga po, October 14, SM San Lazaro, SM Manila, October 20 to 21, SM North, SM Fairview, and then October 21, SM Lipa City, October 29 to 30, SM Lucena, and makikita nyo po sa Facebook page ng Happy Ang Buhay. So, follow their Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash happy ang buhay upang the musical upang makita natin ang mga schedules for November. Palakpakan naman natin ang, oh, ang lahat ng cast ng Happy Ang Buhay. At binabati natin una na tayong thankful dahil kasama natin si Kuya Kaloy ng Happy Ang Buhay at isa siya sa ating mga illustrators dito sa Net25 Kids. Hooray! And we continue to invite you to uh, see the art exhibit here in our building, Eagle Broadcasting Corporation, which can be found in number 25 Central Avenue, Diliman, Quezon City. So, makikita niyo po ang iba't ibang mga gawa ng mga napaka-talented na mga artists. So, just uh, this is at the second and on the third floor of our building, Eagle Broadcasting Corporation along Central Avenue. Hooray! And next, we are also very thankful and feeling blessed that we are also part of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Eagle Broadcasting Corporation. And in line with that, there will be a family fun run. Hindi na po ito sa November 4, ito po ay nalipat na sa November 18. Same time, same venue. Ito po ay magaganap sa Ciudad de Victoria. Same activities. Meron pa rin po itong, syempre, una ang fun run. Pagkatapos, meron pong Pinas FM concert. At marami po kayong makikita doon ng mga EBC artists. Papangunahan na po nila Rapido at ni Aiki. Remember, Family Fun Run is on November 18, 2018. And for further details, just log on to www.eaglenews.ph slash EBC Fun Run. Hooray! Palakpakan naman natin ang ating mga events. At meron po kaming napaka-espesyal na plug na ipapakita sa inyo dahil mayroon kaming bagong show sa Net25 Kids, under Net25 Kids. Ito ay lalabas na sa November. Hooray! Mapapanood na po natin ang Time to Draw! Woo! At syempre, makikita natin ang napakagaling na artist ng Time to Draw. Excited na ba kayo? Panoorin natin ang plug na ito. Hey, Net25 Kids! I'm James Reyes, a comic book artist and the host of the show, 
Time to Draw, coming soon to Net25. Join kids around the world as they learn how to draw along with me. Join the fun and remember, there is always time to draw. See you all soon, and I am one with 25. Time to draw live. Hooray! Palakpakan natin ang ating bagong show sa Net25! Time to draw. Time to draw. Time to draw. Coming soon in Net25 on November of this year. Again, let's all clap. Hooray! And because of that, we are feeling hashtag thankful, hashtag blessed. So, I hope you all feel thankful and blessed for everything that we are all thankful for. And there's one more that we are very thankful for. See? Baby L! Baby, baby, baby. There's a baby. The baby is very thankful for. What are you thankful for, baby? She's thankful for her mommy, for her daddy, for Lola Elena, for Lolo Bien. Oh, you clap your hands, baby. Clap hands, clap hands, clap, clap, clap. And she's also thankful for her Lolo Zari and for her Lola Lenny. And for all the titos and titas, she's also thankful for them because she's all so blessed to have them in her life. Yay! Clap, clap, baby, clap. Clap, clap. <laughs> so, we have, hi, Lara. Sabi ni Lara, she is feeling blessed. Hooray! So, don't forget po, new episodes of Homework and Word Hub coming soon po on Net25 Kids. Diba, baby? Yes, baby. What else po? And we also have, uh, we also have, abangan po natin lagi ng aming mga online shows sa Net25 Kids Live. And, ano ba, baby? Pang papaalala natin sa kanila. Uh, ah, social media. So, follow us po on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, just look for Net25Kids. I am on Facebook and Instagram. Just look for Sally That, T-H-A-T, Teacher. And if you have comments, suggestions, recommendations, or whatever you want to tell us, just email us at net25kids at gmail.com. Hooray! Clap, clap, baby, clap, clap. Clap, 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 good job. So, and then, oh, clap, clap, one more, clap, 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 very good, baby L. And, oh, clap, clap, what else? We are, uh, ano pa bang sasabihin ko, baby girl? Uh, we, I'm also very thankful for all the people that continue to help us. That's why po, that's why po, um, nagpapasalamat po kami ulit dahil po nagkaroon kami ng award. Sa ang nagkaroon po ng award, ang homework at ang homework. <laughs> homework for best children show and best children show host. Ay, ayan. Ah, kami. Ayan, sabi po ni Janelle Bautista, we thank God that we met you po. Ay, thank you. Thank you. And then, si Clap Clap also again, baby. Clap, clap. Very good. We are also thankful that Elle is growing healthy. And she's learning a lot of things like that. Uh, clap, clap. May kasabihin ako na wala ko, Elle. Ano kasabihin ko? Nakalimutan ko. Remember po, we should always persevere. We should always be thankful. We should also be should also be thankful for all the blessings that we receive every day. Ayo ah, nakal niya natandaan ko na. Subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe and share our channel so many people po can learn about all the good things that we teach po in in our online shows and even on our TV shows in Net25 because we continue to advocate for values education. That's right, na baby girl. And what else? Please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you would know when, every time we upload a video. Thank you, everyone. So, clap, clap, baby. And we, go, we are going to... Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. I am... This is Baby L. I am Teacher Sally. And we are... 
One with twenty five, baby. Bye bye. Say bye bye, bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Happy weekend.